Hello everyone, this is Senior Fiddlesticks, and I am um, going to show you today how to do the Aether mod in Minecraft. Now, back in the day, we used to have um, a new version of Aether for the new version of Minecraft. It matched up. Um, nowadays, we're up at, uh, right now, it's 1.7.10 is the latest Minecraft version. Aether is not at that version level. So as you can see, the latest that um, is available right now is for Minecraft 1.6.4 which is fine. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And basically we're going to go to this website, which is in the description, aetherii.com forward slash downloads. And once you get there, it will look like this or something similar. There's two ways you can install it. One is definitely very easy. You just download the Aether launcher and it goes ahead and it just lets you launch it with its own launcher. I don't like doing it that way because I want to keep just one launcher, my regular Minecraft launcher. And that way I can also kind of do mods the way I've always done them. I don't want to get into worrying about another launcher. So I just keep it clean and simple. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually download these three files here. So you download Forge, then you download Aether 2, 1.6.4.1, Summer Hotfix, and then you download Threaded Lightning Optional. And while those are downloading, because they are kind of big files, especially Aether 2, it's a pretty large file. I think it's 80 something megabytes. While those are downloading, go ahead and launch your Minecraft version here. Because once Minecraft, or before we can install Forge for 1.6.4, we actually have to run Minecraft in that version. So, so far I've only run Minecraft in version 1.7.10. So I'm gonna go ahead and do new profile. I'm gonna call this 1.6.4. And I always like to separate everything into its own game directory. Not everybody does this, but I do. So I'm going to just add 164 at the end of that. So it has its own game directory. And then under versions, I'm going to go to release 1.6.4 and save profile. And then make sure it's selected here and click, uh, click play. And then what that does is downloads the Minecraft files for 1.6.4, which are required and needs to be run before you can do the Forge installer. So we just wait for it for a minute until it gets up to the play screen where we could actually begin playing. Depending on your computer, it could take a while. Like this, right now my computer's kind of wimpy. I've got only four gigs of RAM in here, so it's a little slower these days. Um, and twiddle your thumbs for a minute. Here we go. All right, cool. So now we can see we're running 1.6.4. Do to do. You can see it at the top and you can see it here. And I don't actually have to click play. Like I don't have to go single player and do anything. I can just quit game at this point. And then the next step is we're going to go to our downloaded files. As you can see, I've downloaded those three files I was showing you before. And again, those are Forge, Aether 2, and Threaded Lightning. And so currently this is the Forge they're giving us which is 1.6.4 and the last numbers are 965. You may already have it, and if you do, that's great, but I don't, so I'm gonna go ahead and install this. Use install client. I'm gonna just keep it at .minecraft, which is the default location, and mine does use that default location. And this may take a minute as well. You just have to be patient as it downloads some libraries. And once it's finished, it's going to give us a little prompt. It says it installed successfully, hopefully. If it doesn't say it installed successfully, successfully if it gives you any kind of errors, then um, definitely check out the forums for Forge. Just do a Google search for Forge um, installer error and use the error code that you see on the screen that pops up. It should give you some kind of an error code or something. So this one is successful, and hopefully you have as much success. Um, and by the way, I'm running Windows 7, so um, most versions of Windows should be about the same type of experience. Uh, Windows XP, Windows 7, and Windows um, 8 should all kind of be this, a similar take on this. And so I just hit OK. And then I'm going to go back into Minecraft and um, I'm going to create a new profile using Forge 1.6.4. You'll see why I do that in a moment. 
So I go in here and I see Forge is here. Great. I'm just going to edit that profile. And you can see it's using the regular game directory. So I'm going to cancel out of that. I'm going to do new profile based off of Forge. I'm going to say, I'm going to call this Aether Forge164. And then I'm going to give it its own game directory of mine. Dot, just leave dot Minecraft and add Aether164. And then just make sure it is at that release that it should be. Hit save. So now we've got it up there and I'm going to hit play. And that sets up the little prof, that little folder that I just told it to put it in. That dot Minecraft Aether164. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I just let it come up to the play screen and then I'm going to quit. And some people might think this is a lot of steps, but it's the cleanest way to do it to where it's just going to work. So we quit game. And then I'm going to go up here to my search. I'm going to do type in percent app data percent and press enter. And that opens up my app data, which is a hidden folder under my user profile roaming. And that works in Windows XP and up. So inside here, you see now that's the folder I just told it to create. And it created it when I hit play. So I'm going to go inside that folder and you see it has its own little mods folder, which is empty. And then I can just click the aether.jar, press control, and also left click the threaded lightning.jar and then right click and choose copy. Or you can also do control C on Windows. Then I'm going to go inside this mods folder. I'm going to right click and paste. Um, if you don't care about having them staying in your downloads, you can also cut and paste. It moves them a little faster. And so there they are. So now I have my two mods, and I'm going to add another mod to this. Um, we're going to add the morphing mod. So we're going to do a Google search for morph mod Minecraft. Okay, and this looks like the right one. I went to this planet minecraft.com. And I'm just going to go here, primary mod page. That takes me over to iChun's blog. And we're going to choose this morph option here. And then we're going to want a um, from Minecraft 16.x. So it can be any of these, but I know I've tested uh, 60 which is um, beta release 60. So I'm going to go ahead and download that one. And you'll see this nice little ad fly that you see on all these downloads usually. Just wait. Up here in the right corner, you can see where it says, please wait. Zero. Now it's zero seconds. Skip ad. Just click that unless you're interested in the ad. Um, OK, so that put it in my downloads folder. So I'm going to jump back over there. There it is. And now I can just right click on that bad boy. Copy. Go into my mods folder that's still up in here for the Aether. Paste it in there. And there we have it. So now I have three mods in there. And I am ready to rock and roll. So let's try it out. So we're going to open up our normal launcher. And then from the profile list, choose Aether Forge 164. And then click play. And then it'll take us to the screen where we can do um, where we can do the aether. Okay, so then it takes us to this screen, which is choose a main menu. So what's cool about the aether mod is it it changes the little menu screen here, so it gives you the option of doing um, Minecraft center aligned or left aligned or Aether 2, Genesis of the Void, or Aether 1, sequel released. So I'm going to do Aether 2 and launch menu. And you're not stuck with the menu you choose. If you think, oh, I wanted to go with Aether 1, you just do menu list right here up in the upper right. It takes you right back to it. So we'll just stay in it. And you can see down here it says six mods loaded. And if we click over mods, we can see that we have all our mods, including our morph mod. So we are ready to roll. And that's it. It's as simple as that. So it's a lot of little steps, but if you do them in the right order, 
and just keep it clean. It will install with no problems and you can enjoy the Aether. So thanks for watching and um, love to hear any kind of feedback or if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be doing a lot more how-to videos. It's one of my newer ones, um, but I'm going to be continuing these this series. And um, if you have any questions, just leave a comment and uh, I'll try to help as I can. So thanks guys and I'll talk to you later. Bye.